welcome from Lakewood Ranch CERT. This is the third video from our Member Skills Refresher session. And in this one, we'll be talking about how to navigate through our website and access to our YouTube channel. And presumably you found our YouTube channel because you're watching this. So great. I wanted to spend a few minutes and talk about the website and the YouTube channel, uh, important sources of information for you. So I'm sure that you're all familiar with the website, the, the main page on the website at lwrcert.org up here. And one of the things that we endeavor to do is to put at the top of the screen what our current awareness level is, what our current sorry uh, condition is, readiness condition is, in this case, five awareness. Um, we're all happy to see that it stay there for as long as possible, let me tell you. Um, because it means we don't have any particular is issues or actions going on. But if you want to know what types of things that you could be actioning, you click on this button here and it will tell you, depending upon your role in the organization, um, what types of activities you could be indulging in. The other key thing for you as a member is, is hitting the button uh, that says Member Portal, which of course uh, immediately raises the question when I, get, when I get to this next screen, what is the password? And the password is very simple. Uh, the password is member, all in lowercase. And please, um, you know, make sure that your colleagues on your team are aware of this. Uh, it's we try and make it easy to remember. We want a level of security on the website. I mean, there's information in here that's pertinent to Lakewood Ranch specifically, but it's not ultra sensitive. So we don't need to get into heavy duty forms of uh, individual IDs and passwords and that type of thing, but it is member. It is all in lowercase. So when you get in, you get presented with this next screen and on the left hand side, there's a whole variety of areas that you can uh, research for information that you would like uh, to find more about <clears throat> from the readiness conditions themselves. And we'll talk a bit about that through training and the radio procedures. So if you've not explored uh, the, the site and you have a few minutes, again, as part of your ongoing education and refreshing of your, your skills, there's information that is put out here and it changes. So one of the things that we worked on uh, a lot this year is, is upgrading the information that's on the site, making it current. And you know every month we're putting new things out there. Um, uh, so please uh, be aware of that. We'll try and communicate as we tend to do through the newsletter. So look in the newsletter um, to get information about things that are changing on the website. The other key information area, unfortunately, of course, is the, is the uh, calendar. We would like to see more in-person events. That will change uh, as we go forward in time. The other area to draw your attention to in the red box at the bottom left, our Facebook page. If you haven't signed up and you're a Facebook user for our Facebook page, please do that. It's another way of getting uh, good updates about what's going on. Uh, Karen and the communications team work hard at uh, keeping that information current and are frequently posting information and connecting information there. So it's a very good resource as well as our website. And we also put out here a link that will connect you into our YouTube channel as well to try and make it easy for you um, to get the information that you need. Nigel. Yes. Jim has uh, chimed in to Mary's question about the tourniquet application on the chat box, if everyone can see that. He's indicating that we do have a volunteer MD in CCE who's on the radio if need be. But to Pat's point, the tourniquet decision um, is one that has to be made in the field. Yes. I'm going to talk a bit more <clears throat> when we talk about radios. I'll talk about um, um, how, how things are structured and why the radios are so important uh, for us in Lakewood Ranch. Okay, back here. <clears throat> in the documents section is probably one of the most, if not the most important document that I would like to draw your attention to. But if you've not had an opportunity to take a look at it, please do so. And that is the Lakewood Ranch CERT standard operating procedures. So this is how you find it. So you sign in, to the member portal, password member, lowercase, navigate down to the documents, maps, and forms area, 
and then you click on that and you'll get to the Lake Regard Cert Standard Operating Procedures. I'm not gonna open that document. I'm gonna tell you that extensive amounts of work uh, uh, led by Dave Kashba has gone into that, producing that document that gets into lots and lots of detail. The type of detail I'm not gonna cover uh, in, in the course here, for example, around radios and radio procedures and helpful hints, um, and that we can't really cover even in any of the YouTube videos. This is a very, very important document. And if you're not familiar with it, if you're not aware of it, then please take uh, some time and take, uh, navigate into the website and take a look at this uh, because it is very, very important as I've indicated. And not just important, but it's also educational and helpful and specifically gets into the, the types of things that are important for us within our Lakewood Ranch CERT environment. So when you look at when you look at CERT, CERT deals uh, with a whole variety of disasters, from natural disasters to to uh, to manage use disasters. You know this this document focuses on the things that are most important to us within our Lakewood Ranch CERT environment. Um, also out here is the training materials. Um, there are there are various links there. We'll populate some more information there um, as well. You know we've got some links into YouTube, and this is where you can find both the the CERT basic training participants manual, the new version that was issued in January, as well as here's the test and also the test answers. So as I said before, perhaps consider opening up the test document and working through that uh, and then marking yourself in terms of how well did you actually do. It's a good test. Um, it's interesting. It, it's, it is challenging, uh, but it's a terrific refresher. And uh, as I say, we're looking to incorporate that in all of our activities going forward from a basic training perspective. And then YouTube. So if you if you go into YouTube and you want to know how do how do I actually navigate if I haven't followed my clicking of buttons uh, on the website if you just go into the search bar and type LWR cert you'll get to this particular channel and I want to draw your attention to obviously all the things in red first of all is an opportunity to su subscribe and what that will enable you to do is to get little updates that'll pop up whenever you hit YouTube that'll show you that we've perhaps put a new video out there. Um, or updated a playlist or some something that means that something's changed on the site. Um, now we this is relatively new for us. Uh, I'm sure a number of you have been out here and have seen some of these videos. Um, but it is something again that we're looking, having having educated ourselves about it, to try and put some helpful material and educational material um, out there for you. Um, in this big red box, the one that says LWR, so readiness conditions, is an ability for me to go out with, uh, with Karen and promote a particular uh, video. <clears throat> Generally, it will be the most recent one that we have done. And um, so it'll give you some information, and draw your attention, hopefully, to the thing that might have changed within the, within the YouTube channel and make it easy for you to get to and take a look at that particular video. The general videos appear at the bottom of the screen. There's a whole selection that are here, uh, including the ones around uh, the radios and the uh, instant command radios that you may have not yet have had the opportunity to take a look at. So at the top uh, in this, this particular red box in the middle, it says videos and playlists. So videos, clicking on that will show you the videos. And playlists is something that we've worked on <clears throat> If you click on that, this is what you would see. You'd actually see playlists come up. And there's two playlists that we have out there at the present time. Um, a series on the right-hand side of CERT-related videos, general information videos that we believe are useful for you that you can browse, take a look at. And then very specifically, some first aid videos. And you saw the three that we currently have loaded out there at this particular time. Um, we're welcome, please, if you've got suggestions, you pick something up that you think would be a helpful addition, um, please feel free to, you know, just let uh, let us know. Email is probably the easiest thing to do into cert at lwrcert.org. Um, but uh, please uh, consider this as something that you can participate in trying to make as effective as possible for the broader, broader group. So if you can... It, it's much clearer when you go on the website, Nigel. It's, it's very, uh, yeah. very now on your your screen but it's much clearer when you go on the website okay thank you 
it's obviously, you know, I can see actually looking at my other screen, it's a bit blurry. Um, so when you click on the playlist, the, 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 uh, the medical playlist, there are the three videos that, that Pat took us through today. So you can go back and look at those again. Um, on the left hand side, please note that we, we provide these videos, I mean, they're for your information only. Um, uh, it's important that this is for members really that, you know, to, to refresh yourselves on these techniques. It's important that people have been through the training before they consider using these techniques. So if you haven't been through training on, on a specific technique, um, please don't consider yourself um, through watching a video necessarily to be able to go and do these things. It does require education. Um, uh, and it's very important you do so. So as Pat indicated, one of the things that we have recently purchased is a, 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 a mannequin that will enable us to practice the jaw thrust maneuver um, when we have the opportunity to uh, get back in person. But it's a, it's a very neat and very helpful uh, little doll um, that, that uh, enables this. Um, Questions about the website, questions about YouTube, um, let me know.